because if you send a bunch of emails to fake email addresses, it lowers your email sender reputation, and that's bad. What's up, automators? In this quick video, I'm gonna show you how to set up an event RSVP form that automatically validates emails, adds attendees to a Google Calendar event, and sends a nice little personalized email invite. The end result will be that whenever anyone fills out this form in fill out and then submits the form, a flow in active pieces that is linked to the fill out form triggers. It validates the email that comes in. If it's not a real email, it does nothing. But if it's a valid email, it adds that attendee to the Google Calendar event and then takes their information and sends them a nice little invitation. Look at that. What a beautiful invitation. In this example, we're just dealing with webinar invitations, but you can use fill out and active pieces to do a million different types of automations. For instance, you could set up a web form that automatically runs a sentiment analysis on each message, assigns it a priority, and then decides based on the content who in the company should receive that message. The only limit is your imagination. First, we set up the form and fill out. You can customize it however you like. This is for Jordan's Vibe Coding webinar, which it's probably not gonna happen. It's like a pretend event. To connect our fill out form to active pieces, just create a new flow in active pieces. And then as a trigger, find new form response from fill out. Then we just copy and paste an API key. Go to settings, go to developer, and your API key is right here. Copy it, and then just paste it right here. Bing. I know API keys might sound scary, but they're not gonna hurt you. Now we're gonna validate the emails that we receive with zero bounce to make sure that they're real emails. Why? Because if you send a bunch of emails to fake email addresses, it lowers your email sender reputation, and that's bad. If you're not validating email addresses, your emails will end up in the spam folder, and it's 2025, so no one checks the spam folder. The email that we want to validate is the email from our fill out form. So we just find that email here, question number two. Boop, boop. Test that, and it is valid, because it is my email. And now we add a router step to make sure that we're only sending email invites to actual email addresses. If the email is valid, it will go down this branch. If it's not valid, nothing will happen, because why would you send an invite to a fake email address? And now we have this add attendees to events step that will basically pull in an email from the form and then invite them to the Google event that you've already set up. You just connect your Google Calendar, plug in the event ID here, and then just like we did before, plug in the email from the form, and they will be added to the Google event automatically. So how do we find this event ID? Good question. There might and should be a simpler way to do this, but how I did it was I went to my calendar, went to the event, went to edit. I copied this string right here, but this string is actually a base64 encoded concatenation of the event ID and the calendar ID. And the calendar ID is usually just your Gmail address. I don't know why they do it that way at Google. Maybe it makes some kind of sense. Who am I to question the wise people at Google? Anyway, so you copy this string, and you plug it into a base64 decoder, and you will get your event ID plus the calendar ID. So you just copy this event ID and then you plug it in right here. Ta-da! All right, we've reached the final step in the flow, which is to send the invitation email. We've pulled their email address from the form, just as we did in the previous steps. Subject, whatever you want. Hi, name from form, yada, yada, yada. Your chosen discussion group is this thing from the form. Make sure to invite all of your coworkers at the company you put in, in the form. Very personable. If you were so inclined, you could get real fancy and add an Ask AI step. Just plug in all the information from the form, and you could ask more questions in the form, and then you could have ChatGPT take that information plus a bunch of extra context. You could research stuff with perplexity and then create a fully customized email to make it feel like a person spent a lot of time composing a beautiful email, inviting them to your event. To get a Slack notification whenever somebody submits the form, that's the easiest thing. Just go to integrate, connect your Slack account, choose a channel, and bingo, bingo, Slack notification 
Oh. Thanks, folks. I've been and will continue to be Jordan. Let us know in the comments what other types of automations you'd like to see. And uh, in the meantime, see you later, automators.